Hello, we are going to do the Replace Sky project. It uh, falls under the graphic design or digital imaging categories. So here, we're gonna do it in Photo P. This is how you do it there. How'd you do it there? Is how you do it here. You got it, okay, so let's see. We're going to uh, open Photo P here. So just photop.com, then on the Replace Sky assignment, open that and go down and here's the book with the instructions. The first thing, choose one of these pictures. I'm gonna go ahead with the Bixby Bridge. So I'm just gonna click on that. Okay, we have that and I need to download it. So if you go right here in the browser, click there, open in new window and see here, it gives you the little download icon. Click download, and that downloads it. I'm gonna go ahead and save that. It'll save to the downloads folder. So now, we're gonna to need to open that up in Photop. Open a window here. I'm gonna to go to downloads, and it's called Bixby Bridge. And so now I'm just gonna drag that straight over to Photop. Straight over to Photop. Very nice. All right. Click on this book here. The da -da 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 opens right up. I'm going to click over one. Replace sky. Just click on that and it brings us right over to the step by step instructions. This is what our layers are going to look like. We're going to have just a, the sky background layer, the buildings or mountains. We have a text layer that says replace sky and your name and then a photo filter layer. It will help to get all the light about the same color in the image, so it looks a little bit more realistic. And so here's the first step. So you can look through these if you need to. I'm gonna go through them. So I have this open in Photop. Now I need to get a sky. So all I did was typed in dramatic sky on Google, and now I go to images. Here, we need to make a few adjustments, so I'm going to go to Tools. Ah, not like a hammer, but like a digital tool. So go to Usage Rights, Creative Commons Licenses. That's going to give us the most accessibility to images. Well, they're protected, but under Creative Commons, which is a little looser. So now here, I want high resolution. What a high resolution image is, it has more pixels, and so it'll have more detail. It'll be a much nicer looking image. So I'm gonna click right here on high resolution. Now these are gonna be a little larger and will go well with our picture. So now if I go back over to Photop, this picture, the land has some nice oranges. It's becoming a sunset. So maybe what I'll do is I'll get a sunset who may be dramatic sunset. Um, Susnet. Susnet. <laughs> She's spelling and totally a pro at spelling. Or not. Okay, oh, maybe that one would be good. Okay, wow, look at the, ooh, that is sassy. Okay, might be a little too much for the picture we have. So, let's see. Oh, that's kind of cray cray. Like that. Uh, Cray cray. <laughs> I can't believe I just said that. That's such a today sort of term. Kind of looking through the skies. Let's see, what can I use here? Maybe this one would be kind of cool. All right, so I'll click once on that. And that brings me over to here. Now 765, not huge, but decent resolution. Okay, so I'm gonna right click on that. Save image as. Select that, leave JPEG, call it Sunset. Okay, since I'm choosing a spot for it, I'm going to go ahead and go to my Documents folder, my Media Files folder, and I'll save it right into that. Okay, so now I know where it is. I'll go back over to Photo P. Now I need to go and grab that image and drag it on to our thing. So again, going over to the documents and my media files folder. 
It'll be sunset right here. All right. And so I'll drag that onto here. Let go. And perfect size. Uh, not really, it's a little, little small. But I'm gonna just stretch that out a little bit. And when you're kind of resizing things for uh, a composite composition, a lot of times it doesn't have to be exactly the same skew. You can stretch or squish it um, a little bit and that'd be cool. So I have that so it fits in there. Now I'm just gonna hit the checkbox. So we got those first few steps there. Now I wanna put this on the bottom because it'll be much easier to work with on the bottom. So click on that sunset picture, hold and drag it underneath. So now you can't see it and that's fine. That's, that's just fine.